Hey, here we are. We're in 2019. We're midway through the first month of the year, and it occurred to me that I should be saying Happy New Year at some point and talk about the prime mistake in Canada, about all the bad things that he did in 2018. He did a lot of bad things, and then it occurred to me, hey, I'd have to do a 24-hour show to cover it all, so you just figure all of that out on your own. I wanted to tell you about Colt, the gun manufacturer, Colt, Colt Arms. You know about them, I think. I went to buy a new gun recently in California. I did buy one, have a look at the picture, it's a little SIG 380. Wow, I like it, it's a concealed little weapon. My gun was kind of too big and I thought when I'm down in the United States of America, I want to have a smaller gun. But I wanted a Colt. I went up and said, I want to buy a Colt. Can't buy a Colt because they were kicked out of California because they didn't match a whole bunch of the new rules and laws, so you can't do that. So when I bought the new gun, and I'm happy with it. I went out to the gun range with it the other day and it shoots great and I'm a happy guy. But the rules are so funny. <laughs> and they said, firstly, there's a 10 day waiting period. You have to come back in 10 days. And when you come back, you have to have a lock that you bought and the receipt with the lock that you bought and paid for it within the last, I think, 10 days as well. And I thought, Really? I mean, what if I have a lock at home that I bought a couple of years ago? Can I use it? And they said, no. You have to have a receipt that you bought it within the last 10 days. And I said, well, that's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. And they said, oh, no, no, no. There's more. <laughs> and there is more. I gotta go on and on. But anyway, Canada. And Maxine Bernier doesn't like the uh, supply management system which controls dairy pricing. I don't either. Many people don't. All conservatives don't. The leader of the official opposition, he likes it though, so I would say he's not a real conservative. It's a socialist kind of plot, right? It's a socialist uh, mechanism. It's a program that, that only a commie would like. Who brought it in? Pierre Trudeau brought it in. And of course, he was a communist. I mean, he was way over there on the left. And he brought it in. And other people like Scheer like it still. What does that tell you? Think on that. Call centers, tell us, that's in Canada, uh, and many places in America, but I have a cell phone that I use, tell us, and <laughs> it drives me crazy when I phone. I get somebody that can't speak English. He's always in the Philippines. Nice people, so what? I mean, I'm the customer. I wait, and the phone fools around. And, Help me! And you're saying, what? I can't hear you. I can't understand you. And where are you? I'm in the Philippines. Can't you hire a Canadian? Can't you hire somebody that speaks your bloody language? Whatever happened to Canada first? Like America first? Really? TELUS does it. WestJet does it. Air Canada does it. I, I can't think of any American ones that do it. They used to. Lately, I've not noticed that. So maybe Trump's message is kind of clicking in. America first. If you are going to have somebody from the Philippines do it, why don't you take the people who are here illegally in Canada and put them in the Philippine embassy instead of paying them over every couple of years, put them into the Philippines, because legally that's what it is, the embassy in Ottawa, Canada, and they can work. They can use the phones there, but make sure they speak English. That'd be kind of nice. The PPC party in Canada, that's the People's Party of Canada, MPs, members of parliament on the conservative side, should they cross the floor? Of course they should. If they're conservative, they should walk across and join Max's party. I've always been against floor crossing, but I think in a situation like this, you gotta have some rigid flexibility. There's a big show about this that I'm doing. Watch for it, it's a long show. There'll be commercials, there'll be all kinds of things. But I think it's important. I, th I think it's critically important to our country, to Canada, to Canadians, to be able to win the next election in some form. But what you need to do more than anything else to make sure that the prime mistake that's sitting in that office now in Ottawa is not re-elected. And so to do that, you've got to have all the conservatives in one place. They all got to be in one train. And that train clearly isn't the Conservative Party of Canada. We'll talk more about that when the show comes out. Stand by. See ya.